video showing you my foiling machine. I used it in a project and was asked by a number of people if I could show them what a foiling machine is and how it works etc. Now there are a number of different foiling machines, this is the one that I chose to have. Now it's quite a bulky item, I would say it's about the same width as your Imagine or your Silhouette but it's not as deep. Um, and I, the reason it's a little bit darker is because it's on, I have like a trolley, metal trolley that I keep my Imagine on and I put my foiling machine on the bottom of the trolley because I think it's safer there on the metal and then I have, you can see the brown just down here and I've got one of those um, craft mats that are heat resistant so it's just to be safe um, because it can get quite hot. Um, I have got this particular brand because I like the versatility of it. Um, I need to see what it's called for you in a bit but I like that it's called Foil It and I like it because you can literally print your own thing and pop it through the machine and it will foil. Now you have to print on a laser printer uh, otherwise it won't work but a lot of the other machines you have that I've seen anyway certainly that you need to create like a plate and then you can print that same thing over and over again whereas I say with this you can literally print out anything you want and it will foil it as long as you've printed it in black and white on your laser printer. So I will go and print off a piece um, just as a sample for us to show you how it works but I thought just first of all I'll just have a quick look at the machine for you and just explain to you what's what. Now I've got a little box here that I keep all my foiling goodies in and what you need is some paper because you'll need a piece of paper and then there's all the different foils and it's not just any foil you can't just you have to buy the heat resistant foil I tried this um, normal foil art and that doesn't work it has to be this particular heat foil so I've got various different colours I went on their website and I was able to get these are all the bits that you use because you can use the same piece over and over again if you're careful where you position things but here's all the different colours that I've got and some lovely you can get some lovely holographic ones as well which I haven't haven't got yet but um, I mainly use the, the silver and gold but to say really pretty pieces of foil so it's nice and simple to use um, it came with some sheets pre-printed for you to play with which is good and then I always keep the booklet open at the temperature because it says you can do it on acetate, laser printable acetate, paper card or heavy card or textured card and it gives you the temperatures on there that you need to set the machine to so the first thing you do is just literally switch the machine on at the back and it just comes on there and then you just look well we're going to do it on card so I'm going to set it to 160 so I just press the little arrow till the numbers get to 160 and it says between 160 and 170 so you don't need to be precise and then you can see there it says 20 and it's gradually that will increase it's a bit flicky on the camera because of the way that the LED or I'm not sure if it's LED but anyway the, the numbers are but it says 20 at the moment but as the temperature goes up it will gradually that number will rise until it hits the temperature that it needs to be for the machine so I leave that there just to heat up and then I'll go away and I'll just do the printing on my laser printer so I don't know if you can see but that's now gone up to 22 I think on the camera you're going to be impossible to read those numbers it's flicking all over the place okay so we're going to leave that just to heat up nicely and just say I'll go and print that out and then we'll come back and I'll demonstrate exactly how it okay, works. So the machine is now up to temperature and I've printed out just a little simple element of my computer and just uh, printed it on my laser printer on a piece of white card. I then cut a piece of my foil in silver because I thought for the dove that would work really nicely and then you're going to place that with your cut so that you can see the colour face up so you can see that size plane and then you've got the colour face up. It's kind of like doing a transfer and you're rubbing it onto the page so you want it to be the right side up so that when you've finished it is the correct for you. So then we've got my piece of paper 
and because this is a smaller piece I'm just going to fold this piece of paper in half so we're going to pop that inside pop that on top like so fold that over so it's nicely sandwiched in now if it's a big sheet you could just put this A4 piece of paper on top and then literally all you do is hold it to feed it in and it starts feeding and it just goes through the heat and the heat transfers the foil to the laser there's something in the toner that attracts the foiling to it with the heat so it you can leave it you know you don't have to foil it immediately you've printed it or anything like that you can do it you know weeks months later so it's not a problem and then just very carefully because this is hot here this bit's a little bit warm but not too bad and then very carefully I'm just going to open that up now you can see I don't know if you can see just a tiny there a little fraction of a mark where the foiling has taken so I'm just going to peel that off the back that started to stick a little bit because I had a bit of toner on the back because I did the first print and it was a bit big <laughs> and then we're going to just very gently peel that off there we go and there is our beautiful foiled image So lovely and shiny and if it doesn't go through properly the first time because sometimes um, it doesn't always take if there's a little bit more detail or you haven't quite done it hot enough then you can pop it through put another piece of foil on or just move it slightly and pop it through again and it will take any of the other little bits that have, might have missed like there's a tiny bit down here as you can see it comes out it's a really simple procedure to use um, and I believe that this machine also will do um, so that's quite cool um, and there's a few problem solving things here as well about um, if if it has marks like there I had a tiny black mark and that was because I took the foil off too soon you need to give it a chance to cool once you've taken it out of the machine um, because otherwise it will peel away with it so you just need to give it a second to cool down but I was impatient to show you um, and there's all sorts of, sort of hints and tips in the book which is really good and it is this foilit.co.uk and it's by Patsy um, and these are patsymay.co.uk I'm assuming those are the designs and it says that you have to have special toner foil and it was very inexpensive to buy the foil and I've still got bits that I started with because it really goes a long way so that's really cool okay so then the last thing you need to do is you don't just switch it off you need to allow the machine to cool down so I usually take it down to about 40 let it cool sort of around that number till it gets to that figure and then I'll turn it down to 20 and then I'll turn it down to zero because the fan is still working while it's on so you, it allows it to cool down rather than just switching it off at full temperature. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed having a look at my foiling machine and I'll love to hear your comments and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!